Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Uh, Danielle, I just uh, came back from working out a little bit earlier today. And of course, we all know the benefits of staying active on both our physical and mental health. But if long runs on the treadmill or the elliptical machine don't sound very fun to you, we may have the perfect solution, right? Yes, and we are on different time zones, so it's okay that I haven't worked out yet today, right, Quincy? <laughs> uh, the best kind of sports, of course, involve fun, friends, and good exercise. And if playing a game sounds like more fun than working out, then you might want to look into the hottest game in town right now, pickleball. Stu Upson from the USA Pickleball is here with all the juicy details. Welcome, Stu, to Main Street Living. Stu, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good to be with you all. So, Stu, pickleball, one of the fastest growing sports in the U.S. right now. Can you give us a quick explanation of what it is? Sure. It, it's, a, uh, it's a paddle sport uh, that kind of takes into a lot of elements of badminton and paddle tennis and tennis. And uh, it's played with a, with a paddle and a, and a plastic ball. Uh, and it's on a court that's a lot smaller than tennis. The court is only 20 feet wide and 44 feet long. Uh, so it's a very uh, kind of quick, active game. You don't have to run as much as you do in tennis, uh, but it's still great exercise. And it's a uh, kind of thing where you can play it in a lot of different places, whether it be a, it can be a, a public park, it can be a private club, it can be your driveway if you want to put up a portable net and tape, tape the lines or even chalk the lines. So it's, it's a very accessible sport for everyone. Yeah, so Stu, so I myself, I have to say, I am a self-proclaimed great badminton player, okay? I have to tell you this because I am really good at it. But why do you think people are gravitating towards pickleball rather than tennis or badminton? I have a lot of fun at it. Yeah, well, one of the great things about pickleball is that it's pretty easy to learn. If you have any athletic ability, any hand-eye coordination, you can get out there in an hour or so. Mm -hmm. and not embarrass yourself. <laughs> you don't have to take years of lessons like golf or tennis to be pretty good. Uh, and so that's a big part of it. As I said before, you can play it in a lot of different places. But also, it's a really social, welcoming sport. There's a culture to pick a ball where whether you're a be beginner or whether you're a pro who's been playing for 10 years, people embrace the sport and want other people to come in and be a part of it. So it's, it's lots of fun, and you can get out there with better players and relax and get some good exercise and not feel pressured to be great. Ah, it may be the sport. So it's, it's pretty easy to learn. Okay. Is, is it hard to find a court to play on or other players to play with? It's not hard, but it is a challenge for the sport because it is growing so quickly. Uh, the demand for courts is, out, is outpacing the availability. Uh, but we have on our website, on usapickleball.org, we have something called Places to Play, where anybody can get on there and, and search their state and their town, and they'll find clubs, uh, courts that are available, and you can reach out to them uh, and get involved. Uh, but we have a big push to try to get more courts being built. In some places, tennis courts are being converted to pickleball courts, which is which has worked well for us, because you can fit four pickleball courts in the space of one tennis court. So you can have up to 16 people playing as opposed to just four and tennis. But the preference is to have more pickleball courts being built. And that's happening a lot around the country. Well, here's the interesting thing. Now, uh, in the world of sports, Stu, pickleball is fairly young. But a lot of people don't know it was invented only 57 years ago. I mean, that still sounds like a long time. Like, how did it get its name, pickleball? Uh, the name pickleball, it, uh, most people believe it was named after the dog. And I'll tell that story there. The game was invented on Bainbridge Island, Washington in 1965 by three families who uh, were vacationing there and their kids were bored and they created the game of pickleball by an old, with an old badminton net and a wiffle ball and, a, and they made some wooden paddles. Um, so that's how the game created. So most people believe that the name pickleball came after the, one of the family's dogs that was named Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more complicated than that. Nothing technical, just that. <laughs> Pickles. Um, okay. okay, well, let's get let's get into the technical a little bit. Are there professional pickleball teams or tournaments? Yes, there are two pro tours, the Pro Professional Pickleball Association and the Association of Pickleball Professionals. And they all have multiple tournaments around the country. So anyone who wants to go check out some professional pickleball, get on their websites, 
because they play coast to coast almost year round. Gotcha. So what would you say players love the most about playing pickleball? It's got to be something that they oh, when when you do this, it just just makes your heart flutter. I don't know if fluttering hearts is the best thing, but yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, it's interesting. When I talk to people who play the game, they don't say they just play the game. They, they say they're addicted to it. And it's almost become a lifestyle for a lot of people. People will play four or five times a week, and they can get out there for a couple of hours and play a lot of different games with different people. So there's that social element that I mentioned before. But, you know, boy, two hours, you get a lot of exercise, uh, and you can do it as often as you like. And then guess what? Then you can go have a cheeseburger and a beer or a glass of wine afterward. <laughs> now that that makes sense to me. I'm in. Danielle. Okay, I have I have two questions. First of all, do you get to eat pickles after? <laughs> and and second of all, is, is this mostly younger people, older people doing this? Um, I hate pickles. <laughs> <laughs> what? I hate pickles. They've, they've they've disgusted me since I was a little kid. <laughs> Oh. oh man, so no pickles at your pickleball tournament. Not of mine. Okay. Not of mine. But, but... Want to do pickles afterwards? That's totally up to you. But please don't invite me. Um, but to your second question, you know, the game started as a game uh, that was really great for seniors because they could play mm -hmm. but not have to run as much you know, compared to tennis, which is a great game. Don't get me wrong, but tennis you have to serve overhand and run around. Uh, so it started as a game in, in the senior communities. Uh, and a lot of it in the Sun Belt, California, Texas, Florida. But now it's evolved to this game where everybody is playing. So the fastest growing parts of the sport are, you know, 18 to 18 to 55. Uh, it's also wow. great because it is a game where, you know, grandparents can play with their grandkids and, and anyone in between. So that's one of the great appeals of the game. Well, um, I have to say, Stu, I don't think the creators of this game would be happy that you don't like pickles. They're dog. Uh, but <laughs> how well, can our I, love, I love the dog. I just don't like the food. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, really quickly, how can our viewers get more information about pickleball opportunities in, in their area? Yeah, usapickleball.org is the best resource. And then there's a, 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 a tool called Places to Play. And you can find courts and things going on wherever you live in the country. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Stu. Thanks so much. I feel like I've been hearing about pickleball for years now. I remember back when I lived in Wyoming, I, I saw the seniors pickleball league. And then the last place I lived in Las Vegas had a court at the apartment complex. So I think it is growing. It's good to see. Uh, coming up next, we get to experience a Rhode Island artist's incredible creations.